hey guys welcome back in this software tutorial i will show you how to create this squish kinetic type graphic animation so let's get into it okay guys create a new composition and i'm gonna call this squish type graphic animation i'm gonna go with full HD resolution 24 frames per second and 10 seconds as the duration and hit ok now we need to add our text so go to toolbar and select the text tool and type squish as the text you guys can type whatever you like now i'm gonna select the selection tool and just move it here now i'm gonna go to paragraph menu you can find paragraph and character in the windows tab okay and then press this center text icon and then go to character i'm gonna use this helvetica font and then select this text and press ctrl alt home on your keyboard to reset the anchor point i will align it using the line tool just like that now we have this center text i'm gonna select this text and press s to scale it down to 70 just like that okay now let's start with the animation part so i'm gonna add uh, animator properties let's open the text and go to animate and add a uh, tracking we don't need the tracking type so i'm gonna select this and press delete on my keyboard to delete it okay and then select this animator and go to add property and we can add a uh, scale i'm gonna untick this chain icon so we can have full control over x and y positions here i'm gonna give a scale x position 180 scale y position 45 as you can see all of these characters close to each other and we don't need that so i'm gonna increase the tracking amount just like that now let's start with animation so i'm gonna go to zero second and open the range selector one here we can see start and end i'm gonna set both of these values zero in the zero second okay now let's create a keyframe in the zero second and go to one second forward and i will set both of these value to 100 just like that okay now i'm gonna select these keyframes and press f9 on my keyboard to easy ease now let's check a preview so i'm gonna go to zero second and press space bar on my keyboard to check the animation as you can see nothing happened because we need to offset these values so i'm gonna select these in keyframes and offset it by maybe 10 frames just like that okay now let's check the animation if you press the spacebar as you can see now we have this animation now i'm gonna duplicate this animator one so select this press ctrl d to duplicate this i will duplicate it uh, two more times so i'm gonna press ctrl d two times just like that now we have four duplicates so i'm gonna select this text and press u on my keyboard to reveal all the keyframes now let's bring this keyframe here so we have this offset animation and we can increase the duration of the animation now if you press the space bar as you can see now we have this looping animation so i'm gonna go to end of these keyframes and press in on my keyboard to in the composition here okay perfect now it's time to uh, crop this uh, composition so let's find the best position to crop this here here as you can see now this is in the full scale so i'm gonna select this region of interest option and this will give us this crop option so i'm gonna crop this composition like that okay and then make sure your text is not overlapping with the region of interest okay and yeah this is perfect now go to composition and select this crop comb to region of interest just like that now we have this cropped composition now let's create a new composition this will be our final one so i'm gonna call this main and let's go with same setting now hit ok drag and drop this uh, squish typography animation composition here slide this main composition here and now let's start with the adding some colors and effects so i'm gonna select this composition and press r to bring the rotation properties i'm gonna rotate it by minus 25 now select this uh, composition go to effect and preset and search for cc repertile effect and i'm gonna select this layer and then double click so it will apply we can set the expand right 2000 and expand left 2000 as well I will set all of these option to 2000 so we have a lot of space to play with and i'm gonna set the uh, tile into brick so we can get this nice looking brick tile as you can see it is stopped in here so i'm gonna go to five second and 16 
and then press N. Yeah, this will give us this perfect loop. If you guys want more space, you can go to Squish Typography Animation Composition and then press S to scale it down the text just like that. So this way you can get more space between text. And I think 60 is good. So I will set it to 60. Let's go to main composition. Okay, yeah, I like that. Now let's add some colors. So I'm gonna add a new solid. And let's go with this PG. And I will go with this yellowish color. You guys can copy this hex code, hit OK. And I'm gonna drag it the background down. Now let's also add some colors to the text. So I'm gonna select this squash composition and go to effect and preset and search for fill. Double click the fill to apply the fill and now open the color panel and I'm gonna use this green color for this text and hit OK. If you guys want a different uh, awesome color palette, you guys can go to this awesome website. I will put the link in the description. Okay, you guys can check it out and this way you can just play with some different colors. Now let's also add some textures. So I'm gonna add a new solid, right click, new solid and let's go this texture and hit OK. Now go to effect and preset and search for fractal noise effect and I'm gonna double click to apply it. Set the fractal type to 12 and contrast to 1200, brightness to minus 250. That way we can get that little black details. Okay, now let's animate this noise. So I'm gonna open the evolution option and hold Alt on my keyboard and I'm gonna click this random seed option so let's type time multiplied by maybe 10 let's see the preview so i'm gonna press space bar to check it i like it so i'm gonna just hold this up let's set the blend mode to multiply if you guys don't see this blend mode you can just right click go to column and here you can find modes okay and i'm gonna set this to multiply just like that so all the white values will be removed and i'm gonna select this layer and press t2 bring the opacity and let's dial it a little bit down maybe let's go with 55 something around here and let's add an adjustment layer so i'm gonna right click new an adjustment layer and let's go this fx and go to effect and preset and search for posterized time effect double click on this posterized time effect and it will apply and I'm gonna set this to 12 frames so this will give us that uh, frame by frame loop if you guys don't want this just disable the adjustment layer okay this way you can get the smooth result and if you enable this you can get that jagged animation and yeah that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy this if you have any question let me know and also thank you so much for the Patreon supporters I will see you guys in the next one with another afterward tutorial have a great day Peace.